Hello and welcome to my new Floss Tube video. I think it's episode 40-ish. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy, it's been... It's been a month. Literally. It's been... Tomorrow it's been a month since my last video and... Oh, it was... It was a busy month. Um, today is... Tuesday, the 22nd of July, and I think I will upload this in the weekend. But um, I was, let me back up. Because it was a really strange month, I didn't keep track of, well, what I was doing, what were my whips I worked on. So I really hesitated to film because. I'm so anxious to forget something. So if I do, I'm sorry. It's just been one of those times and uh, I have a lot of stitching next to me. So uh, I hope I have found everything. We will see. So it's warm in here, <laughs> so I might have to take a break. But when I open the window, you can hear the party next door from my neighbors. So. Let's see. Let's start. <sighs> it's good to be back though. So, um, I will start with a little life update. I have some... I've received some gifts. I have a giveaway. I have a teeny tiny bit of haul. Not all stitching, but it's, a it's just one thing. I have a lot of full coverage stitching, some other things, and let's just chat and see. So first, welcome to everyone. Welcome to everyone who is new. If this is your first time watching, sorry, it's been <laughs> such a messy, um, or messy, unstructured <laughs> flush tube already, and... Um, I try to be more structured, but oh well, that's life. Uh, if you are returning, welcome back. Um, I'm glad you're back because, like I say, say almost always, I love this community. So, um, yeah, just grab a drink and we will ramble on about everything. So... Um, the last time I filmed is a month ago. And in the meantime, I um, got my first COVID shot. A couple of days later, I got the flu. Uh, first, I thought it was side effects from the COVID shot from uh, I got Pfizer. But um, it turned out it was just a regular flu. I tested negative and uh, I was sick for five days. So that was the first time in years I have got the flu like that with a fever and everything. So um, I wasn't really feeling like keeping track of anything. <laughs> so I just grabbed stitching and after that I was really busy with work. Um, I got some different tasks. Um, I'm doing some coaching, so um, it's been busy. And if my life's busy, I don't want to add more to it by keeping track of anything I don't need to keep track of. So I was talking to my friends, the Stitchketeers, Jemima and Debbie, Lydia and Alice. They're always in the description box. And... Um, I was talking to them like I didn't keep track and how can I film a flush tube if I don't even remember what I did. And they said, well, just film and uh, keep track after. So <laughs> that's the plan. Um, what else? Well, it's just been work. Busy with the kids. The kids are home from school now. They have their summer break. We're in the second week, I think. Yes. <laughs> and um, they both passed 
their class and they will continue to the next one. Um, we have a different system than in the States or uh, in the UK or I think it's, well, when you're four you start in grade one, group one, and you continue every year till group eight, grade eight. And then you leave for, um, well, we call it middelbare school. And it's kind of like high school, but you start when you're 12. So um, it's a little bit different, but my uh, daughter, she will be doing a combination of group one and two. Um, because the group one was getting too big, so uh, and the group two too small. So the kids who can handle a little bit more, um, they can do a combination. So um, yeah, I think she will be fine there. Um, the teachers are great, so no worries, just fun, and we will see what she will do in this coming year. My son, he is six, and after the summer vacation, he will start in grade three, group three, and that is where they will uh, start to uh, do math and start reading and writing, and I'm so incredibly proud of my little boy. It's he he kind of wants to do everything right the first time. And that's hard because no one does everything right the first time. But he told me, Mom, I don't want to go uh learn to read because it's so difficult. There are so many letters and what if what if I can't? And um I told him, well, it will be okay, you just you know a lot of letters and um, there's a lot of ends. <laughs> you will be okay. Just read one letter at a time. It will form a word. And if you read more words, you will have a sentence. And well, <laughs> then you can read. So we grabbed a book and read a small word. And he was, oh, is this it? So over the last week and a half, he taught himself to read. He's reading, um, well, the really beginner books. And some combination letters are hard. And he, he, he is just doing incredible. So um, next year we will see uh, how we will do with math and writing. Because writing is a lot different than reading. But he will be okay as well. And uh, we don't know his teacher yet, but... I'm sure she will be just as nice as all the other teachers. This is a lot of life rambling, <laughs> but it's been a month, so I'm sorry. Um, so last week the kids went to their grandparents from Wednesday till Sunday. Um, we both had to work until Friday. So Saturday and the beginning of Sunday, we had some time for ourselves. And we decided to do a little city trip. We booked a hotel in the southern part, <laughs> southern parts of the Netherlands. And um, a few days later, in the news, we heard there were floods in that area. So a lot of people uh, needed to leave their house. Uh, you probably have seen it on the news. And um, while we we felt really sorry for all those people and if any one of you lives in that area or in Belgium or the part of Germany uh, we hope you all are fine and your family is as well but um, yeah we, we contacted the hotel we were planning to stay because that area should be evacuated as well so I called them and um, we were shocked to hear, well, here's everything, okay? There's no water, uh, the water in the river is high, but um, it's been getting lower. So um, the hotel is open, the city is open, if you want to come, you can. So um, we, did, we did go there and we didn't see a lot of the water, but it doesn't mean there wasn't water where it wasn't supposed to be, like in towns, in houses. 
So it was a little bit weird and double. We had a nice time in Maastricht. Um, it's a beautiful city. And um, we went to a great bookstore there. It's uh, an, an old church. And they made it into a bookstore. There is also a similar one in Zwolle, which I've went to before. And this one in Maastricht, it's beautiful. But we like the one in Zwolle better. So um, we bought a lot of English books because we like English books better than Dutch books. And um, the next day on Sunday, we decided to go to the bookstore in Zwolle. Um, because that's our favorite and we bought even more English books and uh, we had a nice weekend. So um, while we were in Maastricht in the bookstore near the register, we spotted an area where they had um, more like gifts or random stuff. And it was all from Rendil. And I don't know if you know what it is. But it's um, they make postcards, they make agendas, um, stuffed animals. Um, but they also work together with bothy, bothy threads. So the cute animal patterns they have are from this designer. And I was standing there, my husband was waiting in line for the register. And I saw the most amazing scarf ever. So I had to get it. So let me show you. It's a scarf with foxes. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> and oh, I like it so much. It's too warm right now, but it's really long and soft. And oh, I love it. <laughs> so when the weather is getting colder, and I hope it will take a while, I will wear this like every day because I love it. It's so cute and yeah, it's too warm now, but I love this scarf. And they also have a light blue one with ducks and one with um, hedgehogs. I was almost <laughs> going to say eagles. If you want to know why, watch Lydia <laughs> Lovely Stitches. Um, and it's so soft. I, I just love it. Then we went to a little um, craft store. It's They have some cross-stitch stuff, some DMC, but it's mostly for drawing, painting, um, all that stuff. And I did buy some more of those. I get a call. Oh, I'm sorry. I will call her back. <laughs> so I bought some of those. Uh, hoops. They have a bigger um, wheel and because of um, I have trouble with my hands um, I can tighten this myself and the other one you will see uh, in a minute. So um, yeah I love it. She's calling again so I will take this. Okay I'm back and it's literally two hours later. It's dark outside. I put on my uh, ring light. So, and the overhead lights. I hope the lighting is okay. I really hope so. <laughs> but because I brought everything out um, to show you, I will just continue. So, itchy nose. Sorry. <laughs> uh, two videos ago, I had a giveaway. And um, I came in contact with Anna and uh, she told me she has an Etsy shop. She won one of my uh, giveaway patterns and um, she said, I have an Etsy shop and if you want, you can pick one of my designs um, as a gift. And she has beautiful, beautiful cross stitch patterns. Um, her Etsy shop is Peruvian Flair. I wrote it down because my hat's a mess. And I, I'm so glad I did write... <laughs> I'm so glad I did write it down. Because um, 
I can't remember a thing. So Peruvian flair and I will insert some pictures over here uh, of some of her designs and uh, I picked out one that's called Friendship and it reminds me of the braided friendship bracelets uh, I used to have as a kid and um, I love it and she also offered uh, one for you so if you like one of those patterns and you would like to stitch it please enter in a comment uh, Peruvian flair I will write it down and uh, I will draw a winner for uh, one of her patterns in the next video I hope it will be in two weeks I always say two weeks but in my next video and uh, Anna thank you so much for offering this for a giveaway and I can't wait to stitch the friendship uh, pattern and um, there was also another giveaway winner and you guys you, you don't have to send me things if I send you things <laughs> you don't have to thank me for winning a giveaway but um, this one was really special it's from from uh, Rihanna um, she's Dutch and um, I wasn't expecting a package but there was and I opened it and it's the most beautiful gift look what she sent me all finished in a hoop and oh, her stitching is so pretty. Let me see if it will focus. She told me in a card, this is a pattern by Jereen Jones and she, uh, it's a freebie. I couldn't find it. So Rihanna, please let me know where you found, find it. Um, sorry. So please let me know where you found it. And um, she made it into her own colors. And I love the cute button. It's, oh. It's so pretty. So for now, I will put it up here. And I'm redecorating my um, office slash stitchy spot. Um, I took everything off the wall and I will rearrange it. And this one will get a special place. So thanks again. And um, then there was a seal with hate. And I received another gift and this was all in one week and it was the week I was sick. <laughs> so I was so amazed and even emotional <laughs> because I didn't expect it and it was so wonderful to get, it felt like a hug. So I'm like I said, I can't remember a thing. I received a beautiful pattern. And I will put down your name here. So thank you so much. I received uh, Mini Deer Creek. And oh, I love this one. I love this one so much. So um, I'm so sorry I forgot your name. And we had a nice conversation. And I, I already thank you. Thanked you. But thanks again. I really love it. So um, more on that later. Now, let's get on with stitching, finally. <laughs> it feels like I've been sitting here for hours, which I kind of have, but... Um... <laughs> okay, so um, if you watched my last video, um, there was one pattern with my giveaway. I decided I did want to stitch because, um, well, it's so cute. <laughs> And it's um, Arranging Vegetables by Ink Circles. And I just used my own colors. And here is my oddly cut. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Oh, that's better. And I used mostly, I used all DMC. The dark green is 934. Um, these berries were supposed to be red and orange, but I thought this would be okay. For all the colors except for the red, I used DMC Variegated. And if you want my conversion, let me know, or maybe I will put it in the description box. 
and I was putting it in a frame before and as you can see the frame was too small so I took it out and I will find another frame for it but I really like it it's so cute so this was one of my finishes then um, I was uh, going to the city over here with my kids and we went to a shop called Boekenvoordeel and they had really cute um, cross stitch mini patterns kits <laughs> and um, I bought two they bought my both of my kids picked one and I chose they chose these two this one for my son and this one for my daughter and it came as a complete kit with a cute small pattern, um, all the flosses you needed, a needle, fabric, and I have quite a lot of floss left for both. I think I could stitch them again. So um, they are both from Mouse Loft, and this one is called Decorated Llama, and this is peacock of course so this is the decorated llama and here is the peacock and they're both super cute super quick stitches and I will finish them in little door hangers or little somethings for uh, for both of them and uh, they both really love them so, um, does it count as two finishes? Because they're so small. They're so cute. So, yeah, love it. Then I have a piece in this beautiful So Much To Love bag. And this is one with a story. So in here is uh, Pandemic by Long Dog. And I didn't stitch much on it, but it's beautiful. And let me show you. This is what it looks like at the moment. And it didn't look like this two weeks ago. We went to visit my um, in-laws and I was sitting at their... Um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> we were sitting outside. We were having tea and um, somehow there was tea on the table and it was the Ruboy tea, the red one, and I laid my cross stitch in it. So most of this side, over here there were two big orange blots and um, yeah. I could have been crying <laughs> and I tried to rinse it out and you can see a little bit if you know it but it was a, it was really awful because I was rinsing it under in the sink and it it wouldn't get come out and one of my greens wasn't color fast so it was one orange and green blob and I was like well it's lost forget it I'm over it I'm, I, I was on, on the edge of crying and uh, my mother-in-law, she came over and she said, you need to put lemon juice over it, pure lemon juice. So I went to the kitchen, grabbed the bottle of lemon juice uh, out of the refrigerator and I put it over and it came out. It came out. <laughs> so if you ever have tea on your cross stitch, lemon juice. And cold water and a lot of lemon juice <laughs> but even the uh, threads that were bleeding um, it came out I'm so happy <laughs> so let me show you what I've been working on it's just um, I took this blue border further down from around here till here so it's not a lot but um, yeah <laughs> I'm so glad it came out. So I will put everything back 
maybe tomorrow I don't know it's late <laughs> then I have in one of my bigger pink project bags one of my hates it's King Coda and I have been working on this one quite a lot actually so the last time you saw it I was working on the bottom section I will show the top later oh there's a uh, what do you call it thread thread hugger and I worked on the bottom pillow and I was supposed to fill in this last bit but uh, from here down there are like only six colors and I was so done with it but now I see it in the camera it, it looks really great all the greens and teals and dark blues and it's really pretty so I need to come back and finish this part but I went over to the top section and it's a big mess <laughs> it's um let me show you <laughs> so here is he my beautiful beautiful oldest hate and I reached the point of 30% and I think I've reached my third year <laughs> so what I've been working on is how do I hold this um, I don't know <laughs> maybe I can put it so uh, I worked on these pages of the uh, book and a little bit on the start of his tail let me put it in closer so you can see it so um yeah i've been working on that part and oh i love working on this one so um let's see Whoop. yeah I want to get back to that <laughs> then the next one there's no rhyme or reason or order in this project it's just the way it came out of my stitchy closet then in my own made project bag I love the colors, the combination of the pink and the green. Oh, it's perfect. In here, if you watch my previous uh, videos, is the Quilting Bee by the Blue Flower. And this is uh, our uh, Stitch Couture Friendship Cell. Um, most of us are stitching this one, but Debbie is stitching Huckleberry Farm. And... Um, we are working on this every other Friday during our Zoom meetings and um, this month most of us have been doing um, I, I can't remember full coverage Mania July I think <laughs> like I said keeping track and remembering things Oh well, so I use my own conversion on this one. These are my colors. Uh, I added in uh, red. This is raspberry from Weak Style Works, and some colors are different. Uh, so this one isn't. Some of them are supposed to be in here, and others don't. But they work really well together, and I love the combination of the yellow. This is a chamomile and Mediterranean Sea. They're so pretty together. So uh, mine is a little bit brighter than it's supposed to be. And this is how far it is at the moment. Let me see with the lighting. I think this is okay. This is stitched on 32 count Murano in the colorway Honey Bee by uh, Debbie. So by Creatively Yours. 
and um, I've been working a lot on her butt and I, I love word jokes I'm, I'm sorry I'm one of those people and um, I figured out it's her her behind I'm sorry <laughs> it's oh it's terrible so um, these colors aren't what the uh, pattern asks for I follow the shapes and the colors are just if I feel like following the pattern or not so I did my own kind of thing there but it's really cute and the border matches up so yeah it's so pretty and even though I still have a long way to go I want to finish this So, oh, my threads. Then we came in the section restarts and new starts. <laughs> A while back I started, I think it was the 1st of January, my new year new start was Mini Bonded by the Rain in the Color Expansion by Leonid Avramov and it's um, by Heaven and Earth Designs and this is the third time I started it over first I did it on 20 count with one thread I didn't like it then I did it on darker fabric so the white wouldn't shine through I didn't like it and now I started it on 18 count white ADA, 2 over 1, and it, it works for me. So this is how far I am with that at the moment. This is a little over a thousand stitches. And it's the most dark corner. And uh, over here there will be a blue spot. And yeah. Um, I started a new way of stitching. I am doing parking again and I didn't do it with this one but you will see in a moment um, I stitch differently now on these kind of projects and I will go do that with this one as well but the colors are so pretty I love how the purple almost uh, has a glow to it so I can't wait to stitch on this again Then another new start because of full coverage July and I'm using these uh, document holders. Um, this is mini Princess of the Sea. I think it's by Donna Gel Gelsinger. I'm not sure. Um, I This is the... Where's my needle? I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is the regular size, but I cropped it because there's a lot of sky and a lot of background and um, I wasn't feeling like that. So this is on 20 count white Ada 1 over 1. And this is just a start of the clouds. Um, this one I started doing in columns. Um, yeah. Ooh, there it is <laughs> so um, also over a thousand stitches and I think there are three more pages of clouds before I get to darker clouds <laughs> her head I don't know so as you can see there are quite a lot of colors already it is pretty and it is fun to work on. So, yeah, another one I want to get back to. Then I started another new hate. Why not? <laughs> so, um, as I was telling before, let me move a little. I received a beautiful gift 
for uh, Mini Deer Creek. And um, a lot of us, the Sitchketeers, are stitching it already, and it's so pretty. And uh, Darren, this is stitcher, he finished his last year, and <sighs> yeah, so I started it. <laughs> and this one, it may look a little bit messy. Um, I started doing parking. Um, oh, that's kind of it. As you can see, I'm missing quite a lot of colors because this was just... I had a piece of fabric, I had most of the colors, uh, I ordered the rest and um, they will come in next week and I will fill in the empty spots. But I really like this and um, this section, if it will focus, yes, it has a lot of confetti and a lot of colors, but because, oh, sorry. Because I'm doing um, parking each block, it's okay. I don't really mind the confetti. So, um, yeah, this has around 1200 stitches already. And I, I really like it. I could go monogamous on this one. <laughs> it's crazy. So, um, yeah, I really love it. I can't wait to work on it again. I say that with everyone, <laughs> every pattern. Then uh, there is one I uh, haven't been working on a lot. Um, it's kind of my work project, but also not really, because if, um, if I get a chance to stitch during work, um, as some of you know, um, I do call center work. And sometimes uh, I have to wait for someone to call me. And during that time, this week I stitched on Mini Deer Creek. <laughs> Even the confetti block, um, just one stitch at a time. And um, yeah, I really liked it. But this was originally my um, work project. It's called Sweet Tooth and it's by RTO and it's in a really fancy Ziploc bag. But it all fits in here, so yeah, and it's so cute. So um, I was working on this today during work, and I thought I would show you. It's still in the hoop, and um, I finished her sweater, and I'm working on her boots. And this is actually the kit fabric, but I dyed it with pink and it's it's brighter than it's showing up at the moment let's see maybe if i put something white next to it mm, maybe it's a little bit pinker than it's showing up but it's so cute and yeah i really like it <laughs> so during work I will grab this one if I feel like it. And this is the other hoop I bought at the craft store in Maastricht. Then I have three projects left. And one of them is really excited, <laughs> exciting. Um, it's my focus piece for this year. Um, the Stitch Kateers, we decided we wanted to finish one of our hates or other full coverage projects this year. Um, we didn't start it this year, but we want to finish it this year. So we decided to do uh, hashtag FC finish challenge 2021. And we will definitely, well, I will definitely do it again next year. And it's um, Quick Stitch April Fairy by Hannah Lynn. And this is how far I am. And you might remember, if you watched earlier, um, I picked the wrong color of thread in this area. So I ripped out the first section and I need to fill it in before I rip this out. Because the way I stitch, I, like you can see on her beautiful pink goatee, <laughs> um, I finish a thread 
a little below and then when I stitched over that area I will cut off the knot but if I rip this out all these threads will come loose so I will stitch a bit and then I will pick this out and I started a little on her face over here and uh, I did her cheek all her hair over here is finished and I'm starting on the flower and also on the other side um, this is all done and I was working on her wing and her wing is the most amazing colors together and it's kind of conf confetti but with this piece there there's almost no confetti and it's it's nice to have uh, the opportunity to work on some solid stitching in her face or some uh, I can choose if I want to do in, in pink or blue for this butterfly or green for the uh, leaves or like crazy colors in her wing or just the outline in black and it's really nice to have um, to, to be able to choose so I think she's at 65% and I need to get back to her. I really want to, but I also need to if I want to finish her. So next weekend is 24 hours of cross stitch. And I'm thinking about trying to do 2400 stitches instead of 24 hours uh, on her. Yes. I'm excited. Then um, I have one. I'm not sure if I worked on this one. I will show it, but I'm not sure. It's um, names Universe in a Jar by Randall Spengler. And this is how far I am at the moment. And I think I did a little bit over here in the wall but I'm I'm not even I'm not even sure um, this will be for my son and uh, there is a smaller companion piece and it's called I think it's called celestial dreams and it also has the uh, bottles with stars and whatever and that will be my focus piece after quick stitch April Fairy because April Fairy will be for my daughter and this one will be for my son but this one will take me like eight years <laughs> probably so um, I want to stitch him the smaller one so he has one as well before this this crazy one is done and um, the mini princess of it's not a mini princess of the sea will be for my daughter when it's finished and it will also take me like eight years so um in the meantime they have a smaller one then i have one last project i've been working on and it's called the robin's fairy and it's by nimue and this is what it will look like when it's done and um last time i showed that I received a frame as a gift from Desiree, the Addicted Stitcher and I put it on there and I have woven in some um, thread to keep it taut but I didn't do a lot but I worked on his legs and this uh, tree trunk but I, I couldn't really get into it I, um, it's, it was during the period I, I wasn't really feeling well but it's so pretty and it will stay on here. <laughs> I can look through it. <laughs> but um, I, it will stay on here until it's done. And I have to finish her wings. Uh, his tail. Which isn't that, that long. And uh, the trunk he is standing on. And then I have to do some backstitch. And then it's done. And oh, come on. It's so cute. It's so pretty. It will be a gift for my mom and um, yeah I love it and the frame is perfect for it it's a little big but 
um, I have a rounded desk. I sit in like half a circle. So um, the way I stitch is I put my table stand on my desk and I have a long rod that I will put in front of it. So my frame will rest on that in the round area of my desk. This is such a great story. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I have to stop saying sorry. It's just life. We all forget things. We all have those days. Um, so I think this is it. Um, yeah, this was all the stitching. And from now on, I can keep track of what I've been working on. So for the rest of the day, before I go to bed, because... It's kind of late. Um, I will put everything back where it belongs. And uh, next weekend, coming weekend, I will do 24 hours of cross stitch with April Fairy. And I will just see how far I will come. So one last thing. I decided to put in my description box um, a buy me a coffee link. So... If you want to choose to support me and my channel, um, you can use that and um, I will use um, the, how do you call it, <laughs> the money, let's call it what it is. I will use the money to um, buy threads, so it will go uh, to my hobby and um, I will also use it for giveaways and shipping. So, um, yeah. Speaking of giveaway, if you want to stitch one of the uh, Peruvian flare patterns from Anna, please leave Peruvian flare in your comments. And um, yeah, I will pick one in my next video and Anna can, uh, we will arrange that she can send you the pattern of your choice. So um, yeah. Oh, I have to laugh at myself because this is not how I normally do my flush tubes. I try to be really structured and I have my notes and I want to know I know what I want to say and what I want to do. And I put my phone on airplane mode so I don't get a call. So this was new. It was interesting. And I hope you found something you liked. And um like I said, it is um, vacation time, summertime, summer vacation. Kids are home from school. So um, after one more work week, I will have three weeks off. We're not going on vacation due to COVID and we don't really want to travel. But we are going to um, do just some day trips maybe um i don't know we haven't planned anything <laughs> we will see what is possible so i hope i can do a flush tube in two weeks because i don't have to work i can film in the morning i can film in the evening or during the day or even during the night because i don't have to get out of bed that early so i will mark it down in two weeks that I will film and it is a slight possibility it will be later but um, yeah I hope you don't mind so this was enough rambling and um, so thank you for watching I hope you all are safe are happy are doing what you love and um, yeah I will see you next time bye bye <laughs>